team in light of what's likely to happen? I don't think you can forget about the TikTok that's happening in the courtroom. I think that says it all. The fact that we have pr people standing by and leaks to the press before I've even seen his indictment, before the indictments even come out, is exactly the problem that we have in this country at this moment. This is ex exactly what we need to fix in 2024, frankly. We have somebody who questioned the, inte the integrity of the election, questioned whether there was any problems with the election, which we've seen come out, there have been problems, and now he's being allegedly criminally charged, and the press is in a courtroom waiting, but his attorneys are sitting on Fox News with no knowledge. This is the problem with mm. America right now. It's a politicization. And Fanny, by the way, on Thursday and Friday, updated her campaign website. Has anybody spoken about that? It's a ploy. It's election, it's election interference. And it's political lawfare. And I'm frankly just sick of it. It needs to end. This country cannot take it anymore. Alina, uh, as you're speaking uh, on, our, on our screen, it appears paperwork is being walked from wherever the yeah. grand jury was convening and deciding over to the judge in the courtroom, uh, presumably a clerk, uh, into that courtroom, at which point the judge can decide to read it aloud and, and our viewers may be able to see it as well. What do you expect, Alina? I think we know what we expect because they leaked it by accident because some clerk accidentally filed it a few hours ago. There's going to be counts. It's going to be RICO. We all know what it is because we have a leaky AG prosecutor and DAs in this country. This is ridiculous. So the cameras are even watching this right now, frankly. I mean, it's unprofessional, it's yeah. unethical, and it's un-American. It is uh, unprecedented. As a, why, I don't, we don't often get behind-the-scenes camera footage of the process inside a court. It makes it feel it's like it's ridiculous. almost part of the show. It is part of the show. This is a show. It's a political show. Fanny, I can do TV, too. It is not OK what you are doing. This is unacceptable. I, the fact that we have cameras and press sitting there, but I have not seen the indictment as his general counsel for Safe America. I have no indictment yet in, my, in front of me. How is that possible and how is that OK? Excuse us. When do you expect to see one? Uh, will, will, will you find out what the rest of us do? You know when I'll see it? When the New York Times or you guys send it to me. That's when I'll see it, because that's the way our country is operating these days. It's just a despicable situation. It really is. I have no words at this point. I have no words. This is the fourth indictment in months. It's political. It's election interference. And it is obvious, obvious. And if you're not awake yet, I don't really know what's, what it's going to take for you. I really don't. And again, if you're tuning in, we're watching images of the paperwork from the grand jury moved from one part of the courthouse into the judge. Just went up an elevator, presumably to that room you're seeing in the right hand corner of your screen. Uh, what's the legal what's the legal strategy here? How do you how do you deal with this and four? I mean, it's historic. It's unprecedented. They're throwing the kitchen sink at their top political opponent uh, right before right. an election. Uh, how do you manage all of that? You manage it with the facts which is the one thing that these grand juries do not have. The grand juries have select one-sided information, and they're always selected in states that are incredibly blue and incredibly anti-Trump. That is all on purpose. He is leading in the polls, and they are very afraid. And that is it. I've said it time and time again, and we're watching it. I, I cannot say that what I'm watching right now as uh, you know, as everyone, all your viewers are watching, this is not America. We're not supposed to see an indictment before the indictment happens. The lawyers, the defendants shouldn't see it while the press and the.